Welcome to Celestron Nexstar 8 SE Computerized Telescope Setup Guide. Let us first examine the telescope parts. Tripod. Optical tube assembly. Eyepiece. Star prism. Visual back. Star finder. Fork arm. Accessory tray. Hand control. Batteries, sold separately. Screwdriver. We can now begin assembling the telescope. Place the tripod upside down and extend the legs fully. Attach accessory tray to the tripod. Move the support rod through the center of the accessory tray, which also serves as a leg brace. Tighten accessory tray locking knob. Next, we will assemble the mount. Attach fork arm to the tripod head. Set hole in center of base over the positioning pin on the tripod head. Rotate the base to align the three holes under it with the mounting bolts. Thread the mounting bolts into each hole. In the next step, we will install the optical tube and accessories. Position optical tube so Celestron name is right side up. Slide optical tube dovetail mounting bracket into the fork arm. Tighten quick release knob below the fork arm. Thread visual back onto optical tube for attaching accessories. Insert the star prism into the visual back and tighten the locking screws. Start with the 25mm eyepiece for the easiest, widest angle viewing. Remove the lens cap. Attach Starfinder by sliding it into the dovetail base on the optical tube. Tighten the Starfinder locking screws using a Phillips screwdriver. Now that our telescope is assembled, it's time to power it up. Plug hand control into the clip inside the fork arm. Open battery compartment at the base of the fork arm. Insert eight fresh AA batteries into the battery holders. Make sure the polarities are correct as you insert the batteries. Replace the battery compartment lid. Flip power switch below the hand control on the fork arm. Turn the Starfinder on. Remember to turn it back off when done to save the batteries. With the telescope fully assembled and powered up, we are ready to proceed with the alignment. But first, let us familiarize ourselves with the basic hand control commands. The Enter key selects the current choice. The Undo key will return to previous option or erase data that you might enter by mistake. Use numbers 6 and 9 to navigate up and down respectively when the additional option symbol, a vertical double arrow icon, is shown. Use directional arrow keys to move the telescope. The screen will prompt to press Enter to begin alignment. Press Enter. The Skyline method aligns the telescope based on any three bright objects in the sky. Press Enter once more to select Skyline. Hand control displays last time entered. Note that it does not keep time while turned off. Press Undo to enter a new date, time, and location settings. Press Enter to select your location by city. Using the number 6 key to go up and the number 9 key to go down, select your country and hit Enter. Then select your state. And city. Set current time and press enter. Then select AM or PM and press enter. Note that if time was entered in the military format, the AM PM option will not be displayed. Select daylight savings or standard time and press enter. Then select your time zone and press enter. Finally, set current date and press enter. 
Now press Enter to proceed with Skyline. Using the directional arrow keys, slew to any bright object in the sky and center it in the Starfinder. Press Enter when done. Once the first object is centered in the Starfinder, again, using the directional keys, center it in the eyepiece. The telescope will now move at a slower rate of speed. After centering the first object in the eyepiece, press Align. Repeat this procedure for the remaining objects 2 and 3. After centering the third object in the eyepiece, the telescope will crunch some numbers to determine which three objects have been selected. This might take a minute. When the objects are identified, you will see a confirmation message. Press Enter. Congratulations, you have successfully aligned your telescope. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Please visit Celestron.com SE for more information on the Nexstar SE series computerized telescopes.